Waze is a popular navigation app. Millions of people use it to navigate roads around the world. It's known for its accuracy, real-time updates, and user-friendly interface. But recently, something strange happened that left many users scratching their heads. French drivers using Waze were in for a surprise. They were expecting their usual, reliable navigation experience. Instead, their app started speaking a language they didn't understand. Hebrew. Imagine driving through the bustling streets of Paris. You expect to hear directions in French, like tourner à droite for turn right. It's what you're accustomed to, and it helps you navigate the complex roadways. Instead, your phone is giving you instructions in a language you've never heard before. The familiar Tourne à gauche is replaced with something completely foreign. This is exactly what happened to many Waze users in France. They were left bewildered and unsure of how to proceed. The app, known for its real-time traffic updates and user-reported hazards, had a major glitch. This glitch caused the app to switch languages unexpectedly. It was giving directions in the wrong language, causing confusion and frustration for drivers. Many took to social media to express their bewilderment and seek solutions. Social media platforms were flooded with posts from frustrated users. They shared screenshots, videos, and their experiences, hoping to find answers. Waze's customer support was inundated with queries and complaints. Users wanted to know why their app was speaking Hebrew and how to fix it. The team at Waze quickly sprang into action. Engineers and developers worked tirelessly to identify and resolve the issue. Within a short period, Waze released an update to fix the glitch. Users were advised to update their app to restore the correct language settings. The update was successful and drivers were once again able to navigate the roads of France with ease. The familiar French instructions were back, much to the relief of the users. This incident highlighted the importance of reliable technology in our daily lives. It also showcased how quickly companies like Waze can respond to unexpected issues. Despite the temporary glitch, Waze remains a trusted navigation tool for millions. Its real-time updates and user-reported hazards continue to make it an invaluable app for drivers worldwide. So, the next time you use Waze, remember the brief moment when French drivers got a taste of Hebrew. It was a reminder of how interconnected and sometimes unpredictable our digital world can be. French drivers who rely on Waze found themselves in a tricky situation. Imagine driving through the bustling streets of Paris or navigating the scenic routes of Provence only to find that your trusted navigation app is suddenly speaking a language you don't understand. They were supposed to be getting directions to their destinations, whether it was a familiar route home or an adventurous road trip to a new location. Instead, their phones were speaking a language they couldn't understand. For many, this language turned out to be Hebrew, which added to the confusion and frustration. Social media platforms were flooded with posts from confused and frustrated users. Twitter, Facebook and local forums were abuzz with complaints and bewildered comments. I was driving home from work and suddenly my ways started speaking Hebrew. It was like my phone had a mind of its own. I had to pull over and ask someone for directions. It was embarrassing and inconvenient, especially during rush hour. This is ridiculous. How am I supposed to get anywhere if I can't understand my navigation app? It's supposed to make my life easier, not harder. The bug seemed to affect a significant number of users in France. Reports came in from various cities and towns, indicating that this was not an isolated incident. Many were left wondering how such a major error could occur. Was it a glitch in the system? A hack? Or just a simple oversight? Some even questioned the reliability of the app they had come to depend on. 
Waze, known for its user-friendly interface and accurate directions, suddenly seemed unreliable. The technical support teams at Waze were quickly mobilized to address the issue. Engineers worked around the clock to identify the root cause and implement a fix. In an official statement, Waze apologized for the inconvenience and assured users that they were doing everything possible to resolve the problem swiftly. Users were advised to update their apps to the latest version, which included a patch to fix the language issue. Notifications were sent out to inform everyone about the update. Thankfully, the fix was effective and drivers could once again rely on Waze for accurate and understandable directions. The incident served as a reminder of how much we depend on technology in our daily lives. It also highlighted the importance of having backup options and being prepared for unexpected tech glitches. While Waze remains a popular choice, it's always good to have an alternative navigation tool at hand. In the end, French drivers were back on track, navigating their beautiful country with ease and confidence. The brief disruption was a hiccup in an otherwise smooth journey. While the Hebrew-speaking Waze issue was mainly reported in France, there were scattered reports of similar problems elsewhere. Some users in other countries also claimed that their Waze app was displaying directions in incorrect languages. A user in Spain reported that their Waze app was giving directions in German. Another user in Italy claimed to be getting directions in Portuguese. However, these reports were far less frequent compared to the widespread issue in France. To understand this strange bug, it helps to know a bit about Waze. Waze is not just any navigation app. It has a unique history and set of features that set it apart from the competition. Launched in 2006, Waze started as a small Israeli company. It was founded by Ehud Shabtai, Amir Shinar and Uri Levine, who had a vision to create a community-driven navigation app. The app quickly gained popularity for its unique features. Unlike traditional navigation apps, Waze relied heavily on user-generated content. This meant that the more people used it, the better it became. Waze users could report traffic jams, accidents and even speed traps in real time. This real-time reporting created a dynamic and highly accurate navigation experience. This crowdsourced information made Waze's traffic updates very accurate. Users felt like they were part of a community, contributing to a shared goal of better navigation for everyone. In 2013, Google acquired Waze for a whopping $1.3 billion. This acquisition was a strategic move by Google to enhance its own navigation services. This move made Google a major player in the navigation app market. By integrating Waze's innovative features, Google Maps became even more powerful and user-friendly. Waze continued to operate independently. The team at Waze maintained their unique culture and continued to innovate, adding new features and improving the app. But its technology was integrated into Google Maps further enhancing its capabilities. This integration allowed Google Maps to offer real-time traffic updates, accident reports, and even speed trap alerts, making it a more comprehensive navigation tool. The collaboration between Waze and Google Maps has been a win-win for users. They get the best of both worlds. The accuracy and reliability of Google Maps combined with the real-time, community-driven updates of Waze. Today, millions of drivers around the world rely on Waze for their daily commute and long road trips. The app has become an essential tool for avoiding traffic and finding the quickest routes. Whether you're navigating through a busy city or planning a cross-country journey, Waze provides valuable insights that help you save time and avoid hassles on the road. The success of Waze is a testament to the power of community. 
and the impact of innovative technology. By leveraging the collective knowledge of its users, Waze has revolutionized the way we navigate the world. As Waze continues to evolve and integrates more deeply with Google Maps, the future of navigation looks brighter than ever. The partnership between these two giants ensures that drivers will always have the best tools at their fingertips. The big question on everyone's mind was, why Hebrew? How did this particular language end up on French drivers' phones? Tech experts speculated about the cause of the bug. Some suggested it could be a server-side error. Perhaps a misconfiguration routed French users to a server that was primarily used for Hebrew-speaking users. Others pointed to a possible software update that inadvertently introduced the bug. Waze itself remained tight-lipped about the specific cause. This lack of a clear explanation fueled further speculation and discussion among users and tech enthusiasts. After a wave of complaints and social media buzz, Waze acknowledged the issue. The company issued an official apology to its users. In a statement, Waze admitted to 